Hello and welcome. My name is Daniel Irwin. I'm at Sheffield College, approaching my fifth year, and I'm here today to answer any questions that you may have about any new students that are looking to come to college or any existing students that are looking to move over to construction. For all new students um, that are not sure which trade they would actually like to start off in, we would advise them to take up our multi trade option. This would run from uh, September until Christmas time, uh, during which time they will undertake various different trades to see which one that they prefer and they would like to pursue. So the options that are within multi-trade are carpentry, plastering, bricklaying, tiling and plumbing. And then from there, they would then go on with their specialism when we return after Christmas. They would then continue to do a level one in their chosen trade up until July and then from the following September until July they would then do a full year's worth of a level two in their chosen trade. This would then lead on to either employment or apprenticeship opportunities. Courses that we offer, so as well as the multi-trade course, uh, we would also offer for level one students uh, landscaping and for level two we offer tiling, bricklaying and carpentry and we are looking to develop a plumbing course so that should mean that a level one is starting from January running until July after the multi-trade course and then a level two program will be starting in September 2021. Class sizes. Class sizes, our average class size is 14 but majority of our classes are around the 10 with no more than 14 in a class. Um, when we go back due to the social distancing then class sizes are more than likely to be smaller than what they are currently but we'll keep you posted on that all you need to wear a uniform so only for your practical classes so we do have a Sheppey college polo that's available from forsters in sheerness high street and sittingbourne and the uniform costs around seven pounds fifty for a polo t-shirt that and you need to obviously have your steel toe cap boots when you're in practical lessons. Other than that, as long as this, uh, you know, you'd be able to wear it in the place of work, you'll be able to wear it in the place of college. Do you go on any trips? Right, so trips. So trips vary from fun trips where we go out for, well, we was going to be going this year for all of those students that achieved 100% attendance, they had had a expensive paid uh, expenses paid trip to go to full park obviously that's not going to happen now but i'm sure that will be up and running for next june that those students that up until that point have achieved 100 percent attendance will be able to go on the trip to full park for free um other than that we do have uh some site visits that we go on more learning based trips so you've got the site visits and then you've got um this year as well again which has not happened was the tilers we're going to be going to the the main place where the tiles are made in stoke and that was going to be a stay over trip with some demonstrations but again that is unlikely to happen at this point but hopefully we will be going on trips next year when uh when everything is more back to normal. But at the minute, I can't really talk for trips per se. Do I need to study construction? No, you don't need to have studied construction before joining. M many of our students have come in with no previous experience and that is never a problem. Uh, you just start off on the on the first year level, specifically in multi-trade, get, get an, uh, an idea of the various trades in which we have to offer and then see which one suits you the best, which one you enjoy the most, and then go from there. Average days that you work a week is usually two and a half days of college time, split over three separate days, obviously. Um, level ones this year, this previous year, their, their days of college and construction were Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, and the level twos did Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. As far as, far as I know, that it will be something similar 
like that for this year. So uh, depending on if you need to do English and maths at the college, if you have achieved a four in your English and maths, you won't actually have to um, come in for English and maths in a timetable class. You still will do English and maths work, but you won't have a timetable lesson. So you'd make your hours up with extra work experience and work placements. Right. Why is college different to sixth form? So the number one reason that college is different to sixth form is you're treated more like an adult. You're treated more like a young adult. It's away from the school environment with people that do not know you from when you was of school age. So we don't remember you when you was 14 or 13 and what you was like. We only know you as a 16, 17 or an 18 year old. So obviously just based on that, it's going to be different. Um, it's also different because of the days and times. So sixth form, I believe, is definitely at least four days a week, probably five. Although you finish earlier, your days, your time is spread out over the whole week, whereas in college, it's more condensed and more work focused um, with college courses offering you that free time of at least two days a week for you to then be able to go and either work part time or gain work experience. Something which is not as easy to achieve whilst you're in sixth form. So you don't need to no, you don't need to find your own work experience. It will only help you if you can, but obviously not everybody is able to do that. So therefore we do have a designated team who they work with each individual student um, and try and find you on a work placement and for work experience. Whenever you are on the work experience, remember that is like an audition. So the better you do on that, the more likely you are to find that that employer would like to take you on either full time or at least part time, but on a more regular basis. But no, to answer the question, you do not need to find your own work experience. Of course, if you've got a family member in the trade, that is always going to be better for you to have that someone that you are familiar to work working with, that is always going to help you. But no, you do not need to find your own. Any support for students with anxiety? Yes, there is. So uh, one of the biggest things that our department does is help support students who at the beginning of the year, a lot of people are, ang are anxious and show, show anxiety. But by the time they've been with us a year, that sort of wanes and they became become better at coping with that as time goes on but yes there's a lot of there's plenty of support for uh, students with anxiety to get you help to get through it and ensure that your experiences of, of college are good so entry requirements for level one are as long as you have achieved at least a grade one in GCSE, then you're able to, in maths and English, then you're able to undertake a level one, a level one course. Or if you complete the multi-trade course at the beginning in September, you'll automatically be placed onto the level one moving forward after January. So there's no actual formal require, entry requirements for your level one. If you've got any more questions, comment on this video and one of me or one of the team will answer it in the comment section anyway. So if you do have any questions that you think of either after this video is live or it just comes to you a bit later on, then just stick it in the comments and um, we'll get back to you with the answers to them questions. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in September.